This is part three, you don't make any observations yet, but um, we've made a saturated solution of ammonium chloride. And the way we do that is we put solid ammonium chloride in a flask and some water, but we make sure we have a vast amount of solid that remains. So I'm gonna grab the liquid above this and we're going to need uh, three milliliters in a test tube. So now make your observation of what that looks like, okay? And the procedure now says to uh, carefully and dropwise add this uh, concentrated hydrochloric acid to this solution and observe a color change or a change in the, in the solution, okay? So I try to hold this so you can see the background here. Okay, um, I believe you can see the appearance of that in the video, okay. I like to call this the snow globe reaction. All right, the procedure now says to place the test tube in the hot water bath. It must be greater than 50 degrees Celsius. Right now the temperature is 47.7 degrees Celsius, okay? So we shall um, see what happens to our snow globe when that's placed into the hot water bath. Okay, the temperature is 45.3, but it looks like it worked well. You can now see the solution um, and take, take a look at that. Okay, so this is the warmed up saturated uh, ammonium chloride after I had added the HCl. All right, now the procedure says to uh, place the test tube into an ice water bath, followed by frequent stirring until you see a change in the appearance, okay? So let's take a look at that. So again, the thermometer is here just to verify things are cold in case you wanna know what the temperature is, okay? And I'll pull this out when I see a, an appearance change and let you see that close up on the camera. Temperature is reading 13 degrees Celsius. So once again, we have our snow globe appearance. Okay. And so that's what it looks like in uh, in uh, cold cold water okay so that's it for the saturated ammonium chloride study i hope you have the data that you need for that you don't need to record temperatures for this lab okay